Victoria, thanks for joining us. Uh, maybe let's start with how you came to be at the Unistatin camp uh, around the times of the RCMP raids. Adanete, uh, my name is Victoria Redson. I'm Dene Sufline from Lac Broche, from the Barren Lands. And how I came to be at the Wet'suwet'en territory is I went there in the summer originally for the youth art camp and I recognized the healing of the land and it really angered me and hurt me deep inside seeing the CGL workers go through the territory and the RCMP and I asked the matriarchs of the territory if I can come back for the winter so I decided to come back after learning that the Wet'suwet'en speak a similar dialect to the Dene Sufine and I recognize them as my relatives so uh, I saw this as an ancestral fights that I needed to fight. What can you tell us about your arrest uh, on February 10th? So we evicted CGL and RCMP, all the hereditary chiefs, which are not divided. Um, so we evicted them from the territory and we were under lockdown for 35 days. Um, so the roads were closed and we were hiking supplies in and there was no RCMP or CGL on the land and it was really beautiful. So that was over a month of being on the territory isolated um, in the bush in Wet'suwet'en. And so on February 5th, 7th, it was a, almost a week of invasion. Uh, camps were raided, Camp 27, Camp 39, Camp 44, and Camp 66 on Gidimden and Unistotin territory. Um, all the people from the camps were forcibly removed from the territory with assault rifles, dogs. There was tactical officers with snipers pointed at my friends, my family, the people I love. And when I was arrested on Unistotin territory, we were in ceremony, we're in ancient, ancient ceremony, a bell ceremony with the Wet'suwet'en. And there was a cremation going on. And there was only seven of us, five of us who were in the ceremony and we were drumming and when I was arrested, I was in ceremony uh, to honor the missing and murdered indigenous women, two-spirit people and girls. We hung red dresses and the drum was ripped out of my hand while I was singing, ending up with my drum being broken. And I had to watch the CGL workers and the RCMP tear down the red dresses that we put up with the initials of the missing woman on them. And it was deeply, deeply, hurtful and traumatizing and I think everyone around the nation saw that and this is why things are happening right now is uprising. What do you make of uh, the solidarity actions that have been taking place ever since? I think everybody recognizes that we're sovereign, that we're a sovereign people and that this has become much much more bigger than a pipeline. This is a land title issue. It's Canada and colonial states around the world not understanding and not connecting with the sacredness of the land and only being it for the money. And this is why there's a climate crisis right now. This is why there's diseases outbreaking is because we're not being truly human. We're not living with the land. And this is why we're fighting so hard this is why I'm fighting so hard, even though I'm so young, I have a whole life to live. I'm on the land, I'm on the territory, supporting the Wet'suwet'en in the Gitsan in this fight. And everybody else is doing that. And it's the youth who are leading, it's the elders who are guiding us, it's the traditional governance structures that are leading this fight. And it's truly, truly powerful to be in this time right now and I encourage everybody to stand up and I encourage everybody to share their voice and to support what's happening right now because we're asking for a change and we're getting a change, we're demanding it. We need to keep the momentum going and the chiefs, the hereditary chiefs um, of the territory um, the nation to nation talks were cancelled by the Horgan and the Trudeau government as of yesterday. So there really is no dialogue taking place. Um, 
if there ever was. So the only thing they're going to listen to is the masses of the people. So I know that it's hard to keep going, but it's just only going to get bigger. And I really encourage everybody to keep standing in solidarity because it's much bigger than a pipeline now. It's about everybody. And Victoria, I know you're just getting in. Those talks are now back on. Uh, we'll have to leave it there. We uh, appreciate you spending some time with us. Okay. Masicho. Thank you.